Sunday, everybody. <laughs> We're back, everybody. It's Sunday evening, and that means one thing. It's time to renovate. We don't want to renovate today. We don't. I've had a great day. I went to Victoria Park, went on a lovely cycle, had some amazing food. But it's time. It's time. If we don't renovate today, we have to renovate during the week when we've worked all day, which is never fun. You only have a few hours. For a while there, we did renovating just on the one day of the week, or like some evenings and stuff, but only one day of the weekend. But somehow, renovation has found its way to creep into both Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, I treat which... it like a, a gym session now. So instead of going to the gym, just do just a bit of DIY reno, you know? I don't think that works the way you think it does. It does, because it's not like maybe like body improvements, it's home improvements. So Either way, doing this two days a week means that the house will be done more quickly. Uh, Whether think... that means six months or six years, at this point I don't know. No, but it I've... is gonna move more quickly. It will be done. June 2022, the house will be completely finished. That's me being realistic because everything takes longer. June 2022? Yeah. Next June? Yeah. June 2022, you're right. I hope you're right. I'm 100% right. And then okay. and then, what are you going to do? What, what, what vlogging are you going to do then, Autumn? Have to buy another house. Oh, shit. Right, let's get to it. Or right. shall I say, you get to it. I'll make some two minute noodles. That sounds like a good deal. <laughs> One more episode, one more episode, one no. more episode. No. Okay, hang on, let me wrap it up. Please get off. Get off. The glamorous new switch for the bathroom. Ooh la la. Let's go for it. Dun -na -na. Wow. Got the fan switch already wired. This definitely took longer. All the wiring we've done so far has just been on new internal walls. This one was just obviously an old one. So we had to like thread it through this hollow wall. So yeah, that took a couple of hours. Longer than expected. As you can see, it was all the way up there. So that means one thing, we can close the floor upstairs now. So all the wiring is done for this bathroom. Means we don't have to access the ceiling anymore. So yeah, let's go upstairs and finish off the floor. So what we need for laying the chipboard is, obviously we need chipboard, our handy circular saw. Yep, it's working. Impact driver or drill. Glue to stick to the joists. Lovely 60 mil wooden screws. And of course, we're going to need a tape measure for measuring all the right sizes. No funny business. Let's go. So once you've got one end, you're gonna be left with this. And from there, you're gonna put it on the other side. So we're gonna start this way now, going all the way back this way, then we'll have to cut it again. And then that end bit will go on there. And it's always important to make sure the chipboard is staggered. Helps with the creakiness. So yeah, let's go on to the second one. I thought it'd be worth showing you what we look like tonight. In case we're uh, not up and added at the house tomorrow. This is just my going out. Where? If you can guess what we are, let us know. <laughs> British icon. A very good morning. We are in bed at 
quarter past one in the afternoon. We've yet to get up, just having a coffee. But that's okay, we both feel fine. We got home late. It's Halloween weekend, and so us and our friends have a little bit of a tradition where every single year for Halloween, we throw a party, and the theme is always Halloween. So, your favorite meme for Halloween. Obviously, as the years change, memes change, we get new content. Tom and I and our old housemates hosted the party for two years, and this year, another friend hosted it. Obviously, our house is not quite yet at a status of being able to party in, but we'll get there. Um, and yeah, this year was a little bit of a twist where it was British icons as opposed to Hella meme. So still very meme worthy. We were actually planning on taking the weekend off this weekend. We have another Halloween party this evening. So it's just going to be a long, hungover, sleepy weekend. And we were just going to take the complete time off. But I've got to show you around. Our uh, plasterer wasn't very well for a while. Um, he'd hurt his knee and obviously standing up as a job he wasn't able to do too much work so a lot of the finishing touches in the rooms kind of coming together have been placed on hold while he was resting up but he's feeling much better and I didn't do any filming while he was here there's a slight snippet of filming but this is JJ our plasterer he's amazing he's just unbelievable at making all of our shoddy building work look fantastic all of our little DIY bits really come together when he comes into the room but he's been here for seven days He's not the biggest lover of the camera, so it's not like I followed him around filming, but I can show you the finished product and it's so exciting. And so because of that, we've decided just to not do anything too heavy this weekend, take it nice and easy, but we are gonna try and paint as much as possible. So I've just come from upstairs. As you've seen far too many times, the uh, bathroom is horrendous, but once you get onto the first landing, past kind of this wall, it is like the loft, or rather the house, is taking shape. So, all of this is now plastered. It looks amazing. It's mostly dry. We've obviously got a patch there, a patch there, and some areas where he rendered before he plastered are taking a little bit longer to dry. This is the bedroom. I mean, you're familiar with the layout, but this is the bedroom we've been living in for six months. And then the study is plastered it looks amazing this light that comes in is just oof. i can't wait to actually be able to work in here but i'll give you a quick little spin it's all looking a bit dark at the moment but yeah all plastered so this bit over here sorry i know it's a little bit dark that is boxed out because that's where our waste pipe of our toilet's actually coming down the reason it's Sticking out of the um, ceiling is because we obviously lowered all of these ceilings to get the height space that we needed in the loft. I'll uh, link the video just there of us taking down the ceilings. It was a horrific job. And our trusty, amazing plasterer, uh, we had some piping coming down here as well and it was ever so slightly lower down than um, the slats for the roof or the joists rather for the ceiling and uh, he's plastered it and you can't even tell. So that's hidden away and he's not had to box that out as well. So, unbelievable stuff. Obviously all temporary switches here, but all the electrics are done, all the plug sockets are done. This room is ready for painting today, which is so exciting. And then back into the hallway again. Can't paint here yet, just letting those last bits dry, but all of the sunny Saturday light coming through. Oof. And then we make our way up these stairs and all of this is now plastered as well. You can see the skylight, my absolute favorite part of the house. Down here, all the ceilings are done, the lights are in. I mean, obviously we just need to pop those into their spot. That there is going to be fire? What's uh, this? Uh, smoke alarm. Smoke alarm, yes. For the building regs. For building regs. And then, making our way up top, we've got Again, I've showed you already, beautiful skylights, lovely sunny day in London. Um, all of this is dry, ready to paint as well. And last, but definitely not least, and the room I'm so excited for, the dressing room. Also, all plastered. Um, the entire thing is done, and it is dry. As you can see, we've got a little bit of an indent here. That's still going to be boxed out and we're just gonna do a whole bunch of shelving to make that indent make a bit of sense. And yes, it looks great. I mean, the window's very dirty, but I 
just can't wait to get ready here in the morning. At night, all the buildings out there light up and you can see all the cranes lit up and it's, uh, some people probably don't find that very attractive, but I love it. I can't wait to be here getting ready for a night out or getting ready in the morning for work. Um, yeah, it's all coming together now and we're feeling very, very grateful and excited and not at all hungover. So it's a great day. Now we're gonna pop in the car, grab some paint, get some building supplies, building supplies, painting supplies, and then we can get cracking on changing all these pink walls to beautiful, clean white. Does anyone else wake up feeling fine and then the second you've eaten, you suddenly become violently hungover? See, I go the opposite way. Once I wake up feel feeling better. rotten and now I just feel so energized and back with it. Mm, I feel rotten. We just stopped at Wix, as you saw, picked up paint and paintbrushes because if you saw the uh, video where we were painting our doors, the oil-based paint ruined every single brush that I have. So we're starting afresh with these. They need to go to tool station because Wix didn't have just the trays, uh, you know, that you put the paint into. Um, they only had the trays with the rollers and we have plenty of rollers. So picking up some trays, returning some radiators because somehow we bought the same radiators twice. So we need to take those back and then the painting can begin. We can crack on. It is 2.30 on the dot and we have not achieved a single thing. Oh yeah, my background's Nessa, because I, it was in case people didn't know who I was last night. <laughs> we may have made another pit stop. Having a van and a McDonald's It's a slippery slope. It's a tasty slope. That's good. It's a good slope. I feel like life is good. Life is good. This. We're fueling for painting, it's important. And we drank last night, we need salt, it's important. All right, we are fed. We are only reasonably hungover. For some reason, Tom is copying everything I do and we're ready to paint. Stop it, you're killing me. <laughs> right. I guess we need to get our painting clothes on. Nice. Awesome. All right, let's get painting. For those of you who've been watching for a while, you know that Tom and I have a street food business on the side and we did a corporate event the other day where they gave us these very cool jumpsuits, but they're branded. So we're never gonna be able to wear them anywhere and I thought it was pretty wasteful. So instead, they've now become painting slash building outfits and they won't stay this clean for very long. just turned six o'clock, so we have been in here for a while, but this room is now done. I mean, it's just the first coat. I think we'll definitely need a second, and then we also need to decide what color we actually want this room. But this is how it's looking so far. It feels big and bright and light, which is really nice. And i uh, gonna let that dry. Maybe come back to it tomorrow, but now I need to head upstairs. It is now Sunday, 
and I'm only just realizing I didn't take my makeup off perfectly last night. Oh, we had the best face jewel routine yesterday. Last night I uh, took Tom through, at, when did we get home? At six in the morning, I took Tom through my nighttime skin routine featuring like an oil-based cleanser to get your makeup off and then a regular cleanser to clean your face and then serum and then moisturizer and a little face Ooh. and a little face massage and he loved it so i'm very much expecting my face stuff to start disappearing far more quickly than it usually takes um but yeah Speaking of getting home at six, again, we are feeling pretty fresh considering the lack of sleep and the amount of drinks. And we are now on our way to, well, we're rushing, it's half three, we've only got out of bed again. Um, we're rushing to Wix because we're just gonna grab some more paint. The paint we grabbed yesterday, there was only one pot in stock of the color we've been using to do our whole house, which is pure cotton, just in Wix, Wix trade paints. Yeah. yeah. They only had one left, so we need to drive to a different Wix in Barking today because they do have stock. Also, we painted the study white, um, as you saw, the study and the dressing room. And the goal was always to do a single layer of white in the study and then pick another color to paint it with. But what I'm learning throughout this renovation is I don't really like color. I love white walls. I think it just makes every room so calm and nice. And then you can bring in, you know, art and textures and blankets and fabrics that sort of stuff to bring interest rather than painting the walls and after how many years in rented accommodation where all i ever wanted to do was paint my walls now i finally have the chance i don't want to which is classic me the problem however with painting the walls white is that the part around the window the wooden architrave maybe around the old traditional victorian windows is so so beautiful and it looked so good when it was plastered against like a pinky brown wall because the white of that wood really popped but now the room is painted like quite a cool white and that is quite a uh, yellowy white it just looks really horrible now i've realized i love the feature of the architrave around the window but i also love white walls and so we needed to find a way to get these two to kind of mesh together and I saw this picture and I hadn't thought of painting the wood black but now it's all I can think about so I think I'm gonna do it for that room also I want to do a single dark wall on the back where we'll have art and a uh, chair I'm thinking something like this um, but a little bit of a darker wall I think I just spoke for three minutes but yeah basically we're going to Wix to get black wood paint for the windows and some nice dark paint for the side of the sunny. It's 5 p.m. and we've done nothing yet. Yet. It just means that we're gonna have to have an evening session on the house, which is absolutely fine. But it's 5 p.m., meaning we'll probably wanna eat in a couple of hours. So I'm just going to get dinner done, then we can paint, and then we can basically heat up the dinner whenever we want. And the reason I wanna make it a couple of hours before is it's a stew soup kind of thing. And so I always just think the longer it sits, the more flavor it gets and also I'm trying to procrastinate as to not do house stuff. It's almost November, it's two days until November, and uh, we still don't have heating. So it's getting incredibly, unbearably cold in the house. Um, and so, I saw this recipe, which is by Sustainably Vegan, it's a YouTube video. I will link it down below. And she makes kind of a mushroom stew soup stoop, I think it's called. Um, with herby dumplings and it just looked unbelievable and exactly what we need on a cold cold winter's evening so that's what I'm going to make for dinner
still not changed but added a hoodie because as I said there's no heating, the house is freezing. Um, the stew just has the dumplings, they will just boil up for about 15 minutes but as I said I'm just going to switch it off in 15 minutes and we'll dish up and heat up later when we want. Tom has been pestering me while I've been cooking to see if we want to put on a couple of the sample paints that we picked up today. See what they look like in the study. So sorry the lighting's terrible but now we're in winter, you're going to be seeing a lot of uh, us with fake lights in the dark, so we're just going to have to get used to it. We picked up two colours from just Wix, yeah, and one of these is called Prussian Green, Prussian, whatever, number 841, and then the other is Turkish Blue, number 941. So right. they're both kind of darky blues. This one's a little bit more of a greeny blue. This one's a bit more of a grey blue. But this is the window I was talking about that I think I'm going to paint the outsides black so that the wall can remain white. And then this side of the room, so the bit next to the door, we want to paint a colour. This is the inspiration. I think I showed you it earlier, but this is the inspiration I'm thinking of. I just think that with a load of artwork, a nice little chair in this corner over here, um, like a cozy chair. All of our books and bookshelves are going to be above the desks on this wall. So I'm thinking like a cozy little reading corner here. That's the plan anyway. So let's see what these colours look like. Okay, which one do you think, if you had to pick without, so you just had to paint the whole wall, what colour do you think you'll go with? Should we say at the same time? Yeah, three, three two, two, one, one that right. one, yeah, nice. same. Okay. I think that one's a little bit not, I think that one might go better with the room though, like the cooler yeah, tones. Maybe but this color, we'll find out with these samples, eh? Uh, I'm actually thinking the one on the left. The grey? Yeah. Me too. Anyway, we're painting it now so that tomorrow it will be dry and we'll be able to see it right now in evening light and tomorrow in daytime light and that will help us make a decision kind of seeing it in the room over an extended period of time. Just dished up a bowl of the veggie soup with dumplings and probably just gonna settle into bed for the evening. As you can hear, Tom's just wrapping up on his jobs, his very noisy jobs, uh, and then we'll probably just do our Sunday night tradition of chilling out in bed, watching Eamon and Beck, followed by Sailing La Vagabond, and then an early night ready for the week next week. So with that, we're wrapped up for another video. I wanted to say thank you as always so much for watching and if you've made it this far, I hope that you are enjoying watching the house come together as much as we are. Uh, it's just, yeah, we've, we're have we on a high at the moment for sure. It just feels like things are getting finished left, right and center and things are starting to look good again. And yeah, it's, uh, it's good times all around. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please do give it a thumbs up really help support the channel and if you'd like to follow along on our very slow but very rewarding journey of doing up this house please do hit the subscribe button we put out new videos every single wednesday i'm uh, going to enjoy the soup get an early night recover from the weekend and we'll start strong on monday tummy boy soup's ready mmm that is good. I've never made a dumpling before. If you like mushrooms, make this. Oh my god. It's so good. And don't skip out on the puccini mushrooms because that's bringing through a shit ton of flavor. Okay, goodbye for real this time. Catch you next week. So what we're gonna need for this job is our handy, oh, what are these called again? So what we're gonna need for the chipboard so a handy electric saw. No, no, no. Circular saw. Yeah, okay. Get off! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs>